Our capital infrastructure has opened Singapore's first certified positive energy building. It's also signed two agreements worth about $100 million to expand its district cooling system, as well as provide renewable energy solutions like electric vehicle chargers to other corporations. The solar panels installed on the nearly decade-old building means it's now able to produce about 600,000 kilowatt hours of renewable energy every year. That's more than double what it consumes. This green building also houses the control centre for Capo's district cooling plants and facilities across the island. Workers are stationed here 24-7 to monitor the centralised system, which supplies chilled water to buildings through underground pipes. Now this reduces the reliance on conventional air conditioning, cutting emissions and energy use. The vertical and sky gardens also add over 900 square metres of greenery. They not only cool the revamped building, they also reduce its energy consumption. It's one way Singapore is trying to meet its green building targets by 2030. This year we have seen devastating floods across Asia, extreme droughts and heat waves in the US, Europe and China, and of course many other places. And closer to home, temperatures in Singapore reached a record 36.8 degrees Celsius on the 1st of April this year, the second highest temperature ever recorded on our island. These severe weather events reinforce the need for us to act quickly and decisively.